savvy. Hey there, globetrotters and adventurers. It's your girl Kiki back with another exciting destination guide. Today, we're diving headfirst into the tropical paradise of the Philippines. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't it just beaches and karaoke? Well, hold your horses, buckaroo. The Philippines is a melting pot of cultures, stunning landscapes, and experiences that'll rock your world. Whether you're a seasoned expat or a fresh-faced nomad, this guide will give you the lowdown on everything you need to know before booking that one-way ticket. Buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to unlock the magic of the Philippines. Let's kick things off with a little history lesson, shall we? The Philippines, my friends, has a past more colorful than a Mardi Gras parade. Long before the Spanish galleons sailed in, the islands were a bustling hub of Malay, Chinese, and Islamic influences. We're talking ancient trade routes, powerful empires, you name it. Then Ferdinand Magellan strutted in with his conquistador crew, claiming the islands for Spain. Talk about a party foul. For over 300 years, Spanish rule reigned supreme, leaving its mark on everything from architecture to language. But hold on, the story doesn't end there. Now, let's talk about what makes the Philippines truly special. It's heart and soul. Filipino culture is a vibrant tapestry woven with warmth, resilience, and a whole lot of fun. Family is everything here, and the sense of community is stronger than your grandma's homemade brew. You'll be welcomed with open arms and treated like one of the gang in no time. And speaking of gangs, let's not forget the fiestas. These legendary celebrations are a riot of color, music, and food, where everyone's invited to shake their tail feathers. One thing you'll quickly learn about Filipinos is that they're some of the most hospitable and helpful folks you'll ever meet. It's all about that Bayanihan spirit, coming together to support one another no matter what. Need help moving a couch? Your neighbors will be there with smiles and a karaoke machine in tow. Flat tire on a deserted road? Don't be surprised if a whole village materializes to lend a hand. It's this incredible sense of community that makes the Philippines so unique and heartwarming. All right, urban explorers, this one's for you. The Philippines is home to some seriously happening cities, each with its own distinct flavor. Manila, the bustling capital, will grab you by the horns and take you for a wild ride. Cebu, the queen city of the south, offers a mix of historical charm and modern delights. Davao down south is a melting pot of cultures and a gateway to natural wonders. And if you're craving cooler climbs and stunning mountain views, Baguio, the city of pines, is calling your name. Now let's get down to brass tacks. What's it actually like to live in the Philippines? Well, my friend, that depends on your style and your budget. You can live like royalty in a swanky condo in the city or embrace the simple life in a cozy Bahay Kubo by the beach. Transportation options range from colorful jeepneys to trusty tricycles. And the cost of living is generally lower than in many Western countries. Let's face it, nobody wants to travel without a safety net, especially when it comes to healthcare. The good news is, the Philippines has a decent healthcare system, with both public and private options available. If you're on a tight budget, public hospitals offer affordable care, though be prepared for longer wait times and basic facilities. Private hospitals, on the other hand, provide more comfortable accommodations and faster service, but they come with a higher price tag. All right, let's talk pesos and centavos. The Philippine currency is the Philippine peso, and you can easily exchange your hard-earned dollars at banks, money changers, and even some shopping malls. Speaking of shopping, you'll find everything from high-end boutiques to bargain-filled markets, so you can shop till you drop without breaking the bank. Just remember to haggle like a pro in those markets. Now, unless you're planning on channeling your inner stowaway, you'll need a visa to enter the Philippines. The good news is, they've got options for every type of traveler. Tourists can enjoy a visa-free stay for up to 30 days, while those looking to linger longer can apply for tourist visas that allow for extensions. If you're thinking of making the Philippines your permanent playground, there are also visas for retirees, investors, and those with Filipino spouses. Dreaming of spending your golden years sipping mango shakes on a pristine beach? 
Well, the Philippines might just be your retirement utopia. With its affordable cost of living, warm climate, and welcoming culture, it's no wonder more and more expats are choosing to retire here. From charming seaside towns to bustling cities, you'll find a retirement haven that suits your fancy. Hold on to your hats, foodies, because the Philippines is about to rock your culinary world. Filipino cuisine is a delicious fusion of Malay, Chinese, Spanish, and American influences, resulting in a symphony of flavors that will tantalize your taste buds. From the iconic adobo to the savory sinigang, every bite is an explosion of taste. And don't even get me started on the mangoes. Let's be real, folks. The Philippines is a tropical paradise, which means one thing, heat and humidity. But hey, that's what beaches and refreshing Halo Halo are for, right? The good news is the weather is pretty consistent throughout the year, with temperatures hovering around the 80s. Just be prepared for the occasional downpour, especially during the rainy season. Whether you're a city slicker, a beach bum, or a mountain goat, the Philippines has a lifestyle that's tailor-made for you. Crave the hustle and bustle of urban life? Manila, Cebu, and Davao have got you covered. Dreaming of lazy days by the sea? Head to the islands of Palawan, Boracay, or Siargao. Or maybe you're yearning for cooler climates and breathtaking mountain views. Baguio and Sagada are calling your name. Good news, language lovers. English is widely spoken in the Philippines, thanks to its history as an American colony. You'll find it used in government, education, business, and everyday life. So even if you don't speak a lick of Tagalog, you'll be able to get by just fine. Of course, it never hurts to learn a few local phrases. It's a great way to connect with the locals and impress them with your linguistic prowess. One of the biggest perks of living in the Philippines? Your money goes a long way. The cost of living is significantly lower than in many Western countries, especially when it comes to housing, food, and transportation. You can easily find a comfortable apartment for a fraction of what you'd pay in a major U.S. city, and a delicious meal at a local eatery won't break the bank. All right, digital nomads, listen up. The internet situation in the Philippines has improved in recent years, but it's still not quite up to par with what you might be used to in other parts of the world. You'll find decent internet speeds in major cities and tourist hubs, but don't expect lightning-fast connections in more remote areas. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share, that stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab. A short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.